Hi guys and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture we want to look at 3D for per character animation. And it's quite interesting and it will make your animations really exotic I would say. Now please understand that I might not be explaining all the options. Some of them are too small you can just do them on yourself they are not so important to waste your time if you need them later later you can see them but it's important that you ask the question if something i explain just a bit you need more explanations please ask the questions if uh, there is something you have seen on youtube or you have seen a certain animation please ask about it give me the link i will look at it and give you the answers i'm here to help you i'm here to give you the best so you learn after effects and you learn whatever you want to learn not only what i am saying in this course or i'm trying to teach here there is a wide variety of options that you can explore and uh, really come and ask your questions now let's start with 3d animation first of all my character here is too small let's choose it and make it bigger okay before i make it 3d i will align it because you cannot align 3d i will come to the text layer turn it down and there is animate and the first option is enable per character 3d i will enable it now when you enable it nothing happens of course it's a 3d uh, layer that's fine but we are not going to work with the layer we want to work with text i will come and add an animator let's say we add position yeah position will do now what do you notice here first of all the position has the three parameters of 3d i hope you went through the section of 3d and you did it all and you know very well about 3d notice how every character is now in 3d the first thing i would like to to do is to create an animation here for example for the start just a simple one nothing complicated and then we go to 100 percent let's go to the position and use the z plan okay that's the one that is always coming up in 3d we move it you know further away here you are let's move it to the end of course we're gonna change these values and let's preview our animation by the way every time you come here or here it's gonna highlight this text so don't think that it has uh, it's still appearing sometimes it's completely disappearing I don't like using 3d and character not all the time I prefer per word per word is more interesting and we still have the animation that will appear even better I will come to advanced and instead of using character here I'm gonna use words now notice the difference here so it's coming from far and it's coming in that's pretty cool that's your first animation of course if you add the opacity it's gonna appear differently it's gonna disappear and come in let's add the opacity we close the advance here or yeah okay and we come here to the range selector and add the opacity and make the opacity zero percent now let's look at our animation you know to do that animation using the layers you will need two layers and you need at least five six keyframes to do it now here with just a simple keyframe a system here two keyframes i already did the animation fine that's one let's add something else let's go to property and add rotation our famous rotation let's remove position for now cool we have seen about position now what can i add for rotation I will come over here let's put the opacity at 100 percent let's take the y rotation and make it minus 90. okay of course they still appear we put it at zero and let's see what happens here you notice how your words are turning per character and this is quite impressive and very smooth this is for the y rotation well how about if you use the x rotation on the x axis if i give it minus 90 now your words are coming up you notice that animation to do it with layers is a really quite complicated not easy at this one like here let's give them all minus 90 minus 90 just for fun and see what happens here you are quite smooth quite nice let's bring back the position and move in the z plan behind let's stay here okay and see exactly now what do we have cool so i'm trying to demonstrate to you there is something else that you can bring in in 3d it's the anchor point and here it has a lot of value if you move the anchor point you will notice how it's moving actually it is the anchor point that is moving now the rotation center has changed 
is very far. The anchor point is very far. Let's put it at 600. Now you have an exotic animation here. Very nice. Look at it carefully. Cool. I will remove even the Y rotation. I put that zero and you have another one here. It's pretty nice. This is pretty difficult to do if you're using layers. What else can we do here? I will reduce the rotation or the position for the Z plan and come back here and take this one and put it up. Okay, notice how the anchor points are moving. Let's play it. Nice. Okay, so I'm trying to give you some tips here or some tricks. So now it's your turn. Go to After Effects, start your ad with property and enable 3D and start using all of them. Some of them are very simple to use. Some of them will present some challenges to be, you know, fully mastered but yet you will be able to use all of them and create your own animation. See you in the next lecture and I hope you enjoy their character animation in 3D.